But then I check my API usage dashboard. That's APIs are when you write software and it calls into a large language model instead of going through the website, right? You're, it's sending in the information and it's getting the call back. But my excitement evaporated. In just 24 hours of field testing, 24 hours, I'd been through half of my monthly allocation for the model. Not from any unusual spike in equipment data, but because each data point I processed cost exactly the same, regardless of whether I was running a full plant simulation or just checking a single valve. This just isn't a viable long-term solution, I thought to myself. Why does using AI for industrial reliability feel like paying premium rates for round-the-clock monitoring when I only need occasional diagnostics? I also don't need them instantly. When you're sitting there typing and entering things into a language model and getting it back, you're demanding the highest of the high level AI, right? The fast, instant attention. And as I'm gonna cover in a later episode, that actually gobbles up a lot of the processing power. Which for me, if I do it now, I could do it five minutes, an hour from now, I don't care. So I seriously considered abandoning the project and heading home.